The Mapuche conflict is a conflict involving indigenous Mapuche communities centered in Aracania, Chile and nearby areas of Argentina. It is often referred to as a conflict between Mapuche communities and the Chilean government or state. Chilean police, the big forestry companies, their contractors and some non-indigenous landowners have faced opposition from local Mapuche communities in the context of the conflict. Mapuche activists demand greater autonomy, recognition of rights, and the return of historical lands. The Coordinadora Araco Maleco supports the national liberation of the Mapuche people from Chile. The Mapuche conflict intensified following the return of democracy in the 1990s, with Mapuche activists seeking to rectify the loss of ancestral territory during the Araco War. The Mapuche lack a central organization and individuals and communities carry out their struggle independently and by different means. The conflict has received the attention of international human rights organizations such as Amnesty International, who have criticized the Chilean government's treatment of the Mapuche. The Chilean government's usage of the anti-terrorism law in the conflict is a focal point of the controversy surrounding the conflict. In 2013, the United Nations condemned the use of the anti-terrorism law against Mapuche activists. The Mapuche conflict surfaced in the 1990s following the return of democracy. The conflict started in areas inhabited mostly by Mapuches like the vicinities of Purin, where some indigenous communities have been demanding that certain lands they claim for their own, but which are now the property of logging and farming companies and individuals be turned over to them. Several Mapuche organizations are demanding the right of self-recognition in their quality of indigenous peoples, as recognized under the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The official 2002 Chilean census found 609,000 Chileans identifying as Mapuches. The same survey determined that 35% of the nation's Mapuches think the biggest issue for the Government to resolve relates to their ancestral properties. The official 2012 Chilean census found the number of Mapuches in Chile to be 1,508,722. Historian Jose Bangoa has likened the Mapuche conflict to the Catalan struggle. Bangoa adds that both conflicts were major concerns for the 17th century Spanish Empire and remain unresolved. The building of the Ralco hydroelectric plant, Chile's largest hydroelectric power plant, in the 1990s was highly controversial among Mapuches and pro-Mapuche groups as it was to flood allegedly sacred land including one Mapuche cemetery. After compensations were paid the plant was finally finished in 2004. Numerous incidents such as violent land occupations, burning of private property and demonstrations have occurred in Aracania. In the wake of the recent deaths of a few of its activists, Mapuche organization Coordinadora Araco Maleco has played a key role by organizing and supporting violent land occupations and other direct actions, such as burning of houses and farms, that have ended up in clashes with the police. The government of Michelle Bachelet has said that it is not ready to contemplate expropriating land in the southern region of Aracania to restore lost ancestral territory to the Mapuche. The government set out to buy land for use by 115 Mapuche communities. However, according to government officials, the current owners have nearly tripled the prices they are demanding. On the other hand, the effectiveness of the government policy of buying and distributing land has been questioned. Two special presidential envoys were sent to southern Chile to review the increasingly fractious Mapuche situation between 2010 and 2011. A series of hunger strikes by Mapuche community members imprisoned in Chilean prisons to protest against the conditions in which the proceedings against them took place, mainly due to the application of the anti-terrorist law, and for the double prosecutions they were subject to, because parallel proceedings were carried out in the ordinary and military courts. The strikes began on 12 July 2010, with a group that was in preventive detention some for more than one year and a half, all accused of violating anti-terrorism legislation, 
A march was held in commemoration of the death of Mesha Scatrilio in Santiago in January 2013. During the march a group of masked men attacked banks and threw Molotov cocktails. Later the same group caused incidents near Astacian Mapacho. The commemoration was associated by newspaper Le Tercera with the assault and torching of a truck in Chile Route 5 in Aracania region. In the morning of 4 January 2013 the agricultural business couple Luxanja Makai died in a fire in their house in Wilkun, Aracania region. The prosecutor said it was arson in a preliminary report and newspaper Le Tercera linked it to the calm.